Hello you lot. Right, uh, this is just a quick video to show how faux leather PVC or pleather, as it's called, um, can deteriorate over a bit of time. And I wanted to have some nice boots to wear. This uh, looks awful, so I can't wear them like this. So it's a little video that I've put together with how to replace your horrible PU uh, pleather boots with a nice fabric covering. First stage is just to get all the horrible plastic off. You'll find if you've got this on a pair of shoes at home yourself, you'll know it's quite sticky. It's horrible stuff. It's actually built up of a layer of foam and adhesive and a colour layer that is cured in manufacturing as they're made. Um, part of the process is that it's kind of cured and quite solid on so it means that after a bit of time um, it just starts to get a bit flaky and horrible but if you start uh, to scrape it all off takes a little bit of time this stage so I've speeded it up for the sake of your boredom uh, you've got to peel it off a little bit and I've just got a dental tool which is in my really really handy little tool box there um, so once you've got them all off, you should have a nice flat bit of foam with a covering on it as it is. Next, choose your fabric. Um, just kind of choose it to go with it. Don't. Well, it's up to you what you use, but um, I've not gone with anything that's too too strong just to match in with the pink cat logo and the laces. So I've picked a bit of a muted grey cut up what you need after measuring it up and sew two seams. That will just be neater when you're trying to apply it to the boot. So when you put it on the boot um, I find it's really helpful just to turn up that corner. You can always go back to that corner later um, but you'll see here how I fix it with pegs. Um, it just helps keep it on and you can move it about a little bit um, while you're working on the project. So cut a little shape where the top of the boot is. Put it in there and with some scissors or your dental tool, just push it right under that little leather lip that you've got there. Hold it in place with the pegs. Um, but that little bit of leather lip, you'll see as you go through the video and here it just pushes under a little bit that gives a really nice neat little hold um, it will come out probably once in a while but you're going to use some really nice thick uh, cotton nylon cotton that you've got and then you can just work your way I'm just using a really thick uh, upholsterer's needle here um, but use whatever you've got if it's but it's got to be quite a heavy duty one to push all the way through that foam but it is only foam so it is possible so I've got most of the um, fabric on now I'm just working on the other side to get that complete um, but you'll have to sort of pull it a bit just so it's a bit it's nice and tight work it around make sure that the pattern is nice and even on each side but I've never done this before this is the first time I've I've done this sort of project so it's pretty easy you can do it if I can do it and the last bit here on the back um, it's a little bit loose where it just slightly recesses down so I've just tied it up a little bit and this is the end result. It's pretty neat. I'm quite happy with it. Um, yeah, it looks it's good to go, good to wear.